A secret the narcissist doesn't want you to know. There is a piece of information that is not generally known about the narcissist. It may be known by the people who watch my videos, but many of the narcissist's sources of supply, enablers and flying monkeys may not be aware of this. And the reality is that everything the narcissist does and everything you see from them is fake. It's an imitation. It's done in order to deceive. Even when you think you've caught them doing something behind your back, whether they were lying, cheating or stealing, that is fake too. That's not really them. Because they have a void within them. There's actually nothing there. It's an illusion. And the illusion is powered by your belief or someone else's belief. But whoever it may be, the narcissist cannot generate their own power or energy from within, which is why they're always seeking new sources of supply. It's why they're often surrounded by their enablers and flying monkeys. And even when it seems like they're alone, they're always on their phone. They're on dating apps or social media. They're constantly engaged in something with other people because they can't be alone. It would be like death to a narcissist because there's nothing inside of them. And if they were ever left alone, even for a short period of time, they would lose their minds. They would go insane. It would cause a narcissistic injury and they would probably lash out at you because they are their own injury. By this point, you may think that you don't want to be around them, but the reality is that they don't even want to be around themselves, which is why they hate alone time. The last thing they want is to be left on their own because there's just nothing there. There's no human inside of them. It's just an empty shell. And any type of introspection destroys them. It drives them insane. Because deep down they know that something is seriously wrong with them. After everything they did to you and all of the lives that they destroyed, they know that they're messed up, but they don't want to accept it. So they try to escape and distract themselves with all of these mind-numbing addictions. Whether it's their addiction to people, alcohol, drugs, shopping or gambling. It's all just to take the heat off of themselves so that they can feel normal and sane. As though they're doing nothing wrong. But this illusion is not self-sustaining because it isn't even real. Deep down they know that they're worthless, contemptible people. They have nothing of value to bring to you or anyone else. Which is why the more time you spend around them, the more you will lose yourself. Because the illusion is powered by your belief. Their sense of arrogance, entitlement and grandiosity is powered by your energy and resources. Without that, the entire thing falls apart because they have no power of their own to create or sustain anything. It's like the lights are on, but no one is home. There is no real human inside of them. There's nothing there, which is how they can be whatever they think you want them to be. Or whatever they think will give them recognition or make them feel powerful. Which means that even when they're devaluing or discarding you, or triangulating you with someone else, that character is fake too. 
there is nothing inside of them. Which is why they're so outwardly focused. They constantly react to the things outside of them. They're hypersensitive and hypervigilant. And if you're around them long enough, you will begin to take on some of those traits. They will pull you outside of yourself and into the world of magic and make-believe because your identity and sense of self is a serious threat to the illusion. It reminds them that they have nothing of their own. It makes them hate and despise you. Because they're fake. They're not real people. If the right situation or opportunity presents itself to them, they will give up on all of their acclaimed or proposed values and beliefs because they have no inner sense of value. It's just a void that they're trying to fill because they can't generate anything from within. Which is why they will quickly give up on everything that they're meant to be representing if the right situation becomes available to them. But they can manipulate you and give you the illusion and at times it may seem like they have changed as though there might be something there but then they will quickly revert back to their old ways because the truth is that they can never change or grow they are the same dysfunctional shell of a person until the day they die it's just an artificial intelligence it's a machine it's just things that they've learned from other people they can't expand on anything. They can't express at length or in greater detail because they have very low energy reserves and their energy is negative. It exists only to suck the positive energy out of other people in order to sustain them. Which is why they're always so pessimistic and defeated. It's why they like discipline and self-control because there's nothing holding them together from within. It's either you or it's someone else. Someone who is keeping them together. Someone who is making them feel comfortable and sane by feeding their ego and validating the illusion. But if you take all of that away, you would see an emotional wreck. A bitter, resentful person who is very sad, confused and desperate. Someone who doesn't even know who they are or what they stand for. That at the whim of their surroundings. Whatever is presented to them. Rather than what they actually value or believe from within. Which is why they will often seem to wish, desire or decide things in a certain way. Because it's just whatever gives them life. Whatever makes them feel like their false character exists. Because without anyone to validate the illusion, they wouldn't know where to start. They would have to find a way to indoctrinate everyone, to damage them or to keep their vibration down. So that they don't realize the truth. Because the truth is that everyone around them is being brainwashed. They're being pressured into adopting radically different beliefs about themselves and the people in the world around them. And these people eventually become heavily dependent on the illusion as well because it provides them with a sense of value, belonging and well-being. They lack the power to stand on their own, to be independent of other people. And anyone who is independent reminds them of that truth. Which is why they don't want you to go off the beaten path. They want you to be enmeshed with everyone else. They want to control you because they feel like you're taking something away from them. But you're actually just reminding them that they're not who they say they are because you're real. You've done the work. You've spent a lot of time alone to yourself, which means that you've established your own values and identity while they were just at the whim of everyone else. They were just being what everyone else wanted them to be. Whatever they thought would help them to fit in.
to be socially compatible with other members of their group, to where they develop this hive mind or groupthink mentality, because they don't promote individuality. They don't encourage people to think for themselves or to make their own choices and decisions. So in order for them to be compatible, they have to abandon their own identity. It's like an unspoken rule. And this is why they appear to lack discipline and self-control. It's why they have so many coping mechanisms and addictions, because there's actually nothing inside of them. They're just whoever they need to be to maintain their power and control over you. And when a person persistently seeks power and control, they end up abandoning themselves in the process. They lose touch with who they are, and they develop an inability to generate their own power and energy from within. Because now they're seeking it externally. And that is why they're always so miserable. It's why they're so envious and hateful. Because you kept it real, you remain true to yourself and they didn't. They had to abandon themselves to gain power. And deep down they know that they made the wrong decision because now they can never experience true love or happiness. They have to settle for less. So what they tend to do in these situations when it's all said and done is they try to live vicariously through other people, through their pain and suffering, especially if they were the cause of it so that they can feel better about themselves, so that they can feel as though their situation isn't that bad, or they try to triangulate you with other people. They try to manage and control your perception. They do all of these things, but in the process, they're just digging themselves into an even deeper hole that they're never going to be able to pull themselves out of. Because by that point, it's like pull themselves out of what? This is who they've become. And they're so resistant to change because they wouldn't know where to start. And they know there's no way that they would be able to compensate for all of your years of loyalty and dedication and everything that you provided to them during that time. So it's almost like they have no other choice. They're predestined. They have to continue on that path because they already burned the bridge them having any real sense of moral character or authenticity. Which is why by the end of it, they try to control you for their blind monkeys or smear campaigns. It's characterized by their absence rather than their presence. They stay distant. Because they already know that they're not going to be able to uphold anything that they said they were initially about. And by that point, they've realized who you are and that anything they present to you is going to be no match to the person that you've established yourself to be. So they have to stay out of sight. Unless they can still find a way to manipulate or gaslight you because you become like kryptonite to the narcissist. It's like sunlight to a vampire. Your light blinds them. It intimidates and overwhelms them because they couldn't do that. They gave up on themselves a long time ago. They had to resort to deceptive means. And it may look like they just became that way when they targeted you, but people don't change overnight. That's just the facade. They were already that way, long before you met them. Which is why they hold on to the illusion so strongly because they're actually very insecure. They already know that there's no real authentic part of them, which is why that moment when they're grandiose is actually when they are most vulnerable. It's when they can be most reactive to your criticism or rejection. Because they already know that what they're presenting to you isn't even real. They know that they're just reflecting back your own virtues and ideals to you, or it's just something they made up in their minds. It's not something where they actually spent years in isolation to become that. They're just an imitation. They're not the real thing. And you will see it in their eyes if you ever confront them or threaten to expose them. 
their eyes will light up, they will become visibly alert, like they're in a heightened state of awareness. Because in that moment they know the jig is up. They know you're on to them. And then it's all about getting you before you get them. Or they will just run and hide. Because deep down they already know that they're not enough. They've never done the work. So they're not who they acclaim themselves to be. Which is something that you may have witnessed already. If you've ever gone along with their proposals or ideas. You will have seen that it always results in them not even knowing what to do with you. Because it's just something that they saw in you. And then they reflected it back to you. Or it's just something that they made up inside their heads. And if you allowed yourself to be manipulated by them, it became a shared fantasy. To where you felt trapped and powerless. Because that's all that it is. It's just a means to strip you of your power. By playing on your wishes, fears or fantasies. It's not something that has any basis of reality. Because they're not real. And you will know that they're not real if you pay attention to your intuition when you're around them. Because all it does is drain you and leave you confused. The illusion is all that they have. And as I've said before, there is nothing outside of the illusion. Because they don't have the mental and emotional capacity to even be a complete human. They lack the qualities and skills that even make it a reality. They lack empathy so they're just daydreaming. And they're hoping that you will go along with it. Because you do have the tools and the inner resources to make it feel real for them. But if you could ever confront them on it, or hold them up to what they're suggesting or directing you towards, you will see them crumble right in front of your eyes. Because they don't even have the means to make it a reality. They just wouldn't know where to start. And even the times where you feel like you've seen the narcissist let their guard down and you've seen them be vulnerable, even then it's just not a pretty sight. There's nothing attractive about it. Because it's just all about themselves and their emotions. It's never about you. Unless they're displaying the illusion. But even then, the display of vulnerability is just another illusion. Because it's just used as a means to gain your sympathy and compassion. Without any intention of them changing or being better. Because they're quite comfortable with their disorder. It allows them to hold up this wall to protect themselves. Because they already know that there's nothing lovable or attractive about them underneath that. It's just something that they will use to play the victim and gain sympathy. Because that's all that they can do once you figure them out. They have an inability to connect. They lack empathy. So they already know that the moment you figure them out. It's when you're ready to get out of dodge. Because by that point you realise that they're all about themselves. It's always this woe is me damsel in distress mentality. It's never about you or how you feel. They see you as an extension of them so they assume that you share their feelings and needs. There's never any compassion or understanding with a narcissist. And yet they wonder why we end up trying to avoid them. And then they come back trying to seduce you with money or sexual favours. Because they're assuming that's what you want. But that's likely what they've been used for in the past. So at times it just doesn't make any sense to them. Because in their minds that's all that there is. They assume that you're just being stubborn and naive. Because they're very superficial.
everything is outwardly focused and there's always this sense of urgency to whether only focused on the destination because the journey and the moment actually does nothing for them they're like dopamine junkies it's what drives their motivation and addiction so they only see what exists on the surface they don't see the real human part of you because they lack effective empathy so there's no real human side to them because they're missing those key components which is what enables their disorder to function so if they could ever experience those things they wouldn't be able to be narcissists stop them in their tracks but this is also why they're so miserable and it's why the only thing you can do is part ways because you're never going to be able to reach them which in the end will leave you feeling unheard and unseen because again that's the only way that their disorder can function it won't work if they have to accept that they're dealing with a real separate person so they have to see people as extensions of themselves but that is not true connection it's actually disconnection because they're disconnected not only from other people but also from themselves because there is no self there's nothing inside of them which is why it's so validating and empowering when you find videos such as this because it reminds you that you are not alone that you do have a self and that you can be so much more than what they led you to believe Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash dark survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's Narc Survivor the Crew UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.